Before we jump into the first demo, I would like to talk about a few case studies for ECS. The first one is Coursera, the uh, the education company, and you know, I guess they need to no introduction. Um, the URL that you see here and that you will see for the other case studies uh, is the uh, presentation that they gave at AWS reInvent. 2015. So if you want the full presentation and, and the details on those case studies, I would suggest that you watch those videos. Um, basically here I, I just took one slide from their presentation uh, called What Else Did We Look At? You know, I, I think it's important to understand what are the technology options out there and and why you would pick one against the others. Why, why this one is actually the one for you. And uh, Coursera first tried to build um, their own tech, to build their own cluster manager. And I, as I mentioned in, in the introduction, this is a really difficult problem. So although the, the Coursera R&D team is, is quite brilliant, uh, they had trouble uh, building and, and running their own cluster manager reliably. And so they did the right thing and, and, and dropped that project and looked at uh, third party options. So they looked at Mesos and Kubernetes in ECS. Uh, Mesos and Kubernetes are, uh, are, you know, very nice as well. They have, you know, lots of things going for them. But um, as far as Coursera was concerned, um, they were too uh, too hard to live with from an ops point of view, and they required, you know, just too much, uh, too much uh, system administration, and that's not something that Coursera was willing to do. Uh, as is the case for many AWS customers, uh, Coursera wanted to focus on building their own platform, uh, improving their own products, uh, and taking care of their own customers. And uh, you know, running, fixing, scaling clusters uh, is not something that they saw as uh, you know high value to their to their own business. So they picked ECS, um, and the, the managed service uh, aspect of it was a was a strong. Uh, a strong uh, factor in in that decision. The second case study I want to talk about is a company called Meteor, uh, which is a a pass a platform as a service uh, for uh, Node.js applications, mobile or or web. Um, they run at pretty large scale. They have hundreds of thousands of containers, and uh, and high availability and service quality is obviously extremely important for them. And um, here as well, you know, the, the they looked at a number of options, Kubernetes, ECS, Marathon, some others. And it's about, you know, it's pretty much the same story as Coursera. You know, they, they want to focus on their own customers. Um, they, they, they don't want to spend their time fixing issues or, or uh, building tech for the sake of tech. And uh, they were already an AWS customer, so I guess they had some uh, some positive bias uh, to use uh, uh, another AWS service. But still, uh, they looked at other options. And again, you know, the service, the managed service uh, that ECS offers, was uh, a key uh, in their decision um, because once again, you know, they want to run, scale, uh, no, uh, no no problem and uh, they just want to take care of their own business and their own customers. And uh, th the last one I want to mention is Remind. Remind is a, a messaging platform between uh, uh, teachers and, uh, and parents. And uh, as, as we can imagine, their traffic varies pr pretty widely during their year. You know, uh, probably during holiday season, you know, there's not much going on. And then, you know, back to school happens and it goes crazy. So scalability is very important to them. Uh, they have a, a, a nice microservice-based architecture. They're using the 12-factor apps design principles. So if you're uh, into uh, microservices, you know, their video will probably be uh, very interesting. So check it out. And um, they were running on the Heroku so far. And uh, as you can see on that graph, um, they experienced some uh, latency issues on, on their services. So not so much on the average latency, but more on the 95th and 99th percentile, uh, which are, uh, you know, 
which vary wildly and uh, are much, much higher than average. So that means for some customers, a limited number of customers, but still, for some customers, the service quality wasn't good enough. And so they migrated on uh, ECS uh, around June 5 of last year. And as you can see, not only did they cut average latency by about 50%, um, they their uh, 95th and 99th latency um, were uh, massively reduced and uh, actually now are pretty close to average. And so that means now for pretty much all their customers, uh, service quality is good, uh, it's predictable, uh, it's scalable, and uh, and you know everyone experiences their service uh, in a in a nice and uh, and reliable and fast way. And I think that's of paramount importance to remind. Uh, and I guess that's what uh, the the quote of their VP engineering is all about, right? Improving service performance and happy customers. So uh, let's jump into the first demo. Um, I will pause and uh, I'll catch you in a minute and we'll start to deploy some services. <laughs> 